Hello, welcome in New Caledonia. The best person in the world. All the best competitors in the world came here for the last stage of the PKRA. And uh, here you have the perfect uh, condition, the flat water, the good wind. So hopefully we're going to see a great final. Are you pee, be the click, are you fuck with me? Damn, nigga, freeze up and let the worst get ya. Cause this motherfucker be your real G in ya. On a mission every time, love it when this bitch grinding is to the L I N M that is I. Who am I? A G staying on top of my thing. Pulling out straps, cause a nigga gang bang. R F P, yeah, let's go. Full in the slam, play, girl, fang, yo, vote, do. Who am I? A G, that shit never gon' change. All the fuck is real, gon' hit you up with some gang. Nigga, give me dead hell, hoes on the two. In the slam, I'm playing girl, very low, boo, James Whips and Glock, the motherfucking shot goes pop, your body get buried deep in that ass, come drop, feel me now, two steps from a touchdown, and make a nigga fall now when I get the first round, deep in the ground, while you're on the trip and stay, it's getting kinda cold when that ass six feet deep. It's the first time that the PKR come here in New Caledonia, it's good to have a new destination, a new event for all the riders. For me, it's uh, not a new destination, like I spend a lot of time here and I really love this island because it's very wide, you can see many different things. If you like the sea, it's a perfect island to live. You can go fish, you can go surf on the outside reef, you can go wakeboarding, if it's windy you can windsurf, you can kite surf, or you can visit the island. There is many different islands like the Loyauté, you can go to uh, Lifu, Mare, Uvea, or Isle of Pins. And, uh, what can I say? It's, it's wonderful, it's beautiful, it's, I'm really happy to have a competition here. When I arrived, I looked at the spot and I'm like, oh my god, this looks so good. You just want to go out there and do tricks. This is as close as perfect as it gets. It's really flat water, crystal clear, so it's actually beautiful as well. And nice wind, very constant. So everyone can do their best tricks, go out there and pull all the great moves. And that makes the competition really exciting. And you can see really who is the best because you're going to pull all your best tricks out of the bag. OK, so for New Caledonia, we have a really good spot. Some really flat, shallow water with a few rocks on the bottom, but that doesn't bother the riders, they can't handle it. The really great thing is with 25 knots, they can put on their 7-8 meters, go big, and land most of their tricks. So you're seeing a lot of doubles, some really hard tricks that you, only, you can only see in these perfect conditions. This event's going to be really exciting. We've got a very tight race for the world title uh, between Aaron, Kevin and Yuri. So they're really tight in the tour standings so far. So this is going to this is going to be the event which crowns uh, possibly a new world champion because everyone's just so tight. All right, so me, Kevin, and Aaron, we, uh, all of us, we still have a chance on uh, the world title. It's going to be super exciting. Um, I train a lot. I really want to have it because mm -hmm. it's actually my first year. I'm going to finish it and I actually have a chance on the world title. But it's not going to be easy. Kevin and Aaron, they, they, all, they both really want to have it as well. I think uh, Kevin is, uh, he really wants to have it more than ever. So yeah, we'll see what's going to happen, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight for it as well. 
We've got close to perfect conditions here. Winds around 18 to 22 knots. And a nice and flat water, what the guys all like. Uh, the rest of the week looks quite promising as well. Uh, tomorrow is a long distance plan and uh, today we'll finish off the single elimination of the freestyle. Tomorrow we'll start off with a long distance and then we return to the double elimination of freestyle. So great action here in the first day. The guys are getting really warmed up with the New Caledonian drums. Check it out. This is so sick. What? Local style. More local, so sick. So funny guys, everyone's always just chilling on the beach and just everyone's happy for each other to go through. They're all pushing each other, so they got their drums going, everyone's shouting, it's a sick atmosphere. Good boys. Definitely a big turning point for Aaron especially was when he got beaten by Alberto Rondina. Uh, they've been training together in Brazil for the last few months and I, they're pretty good friends so yeah, uh, Alberto Rondina would, was apologising that he won because uh, that was a really important heat and uh, seeing Aaron got knocked out. But uh, yeah, that's just the way competition goes. Um, you, you're up against your mates and yes, yeah, you got to do what you got to do. and. Yeah, it's kind of hard versing your, your friends, but yeah, it's just that's that's competition. You know, I've been uh, I've been training with Aaron for uh, for like a month, uh, uh, yeah, almost two months in Brazil. So yeah, no, we're good friends now, and uh, you know, I really really enjoy uh, you know, to ride with him. Uh, I think he pushed the sport in the right direction, and then, uh, yeah, you know, he's riding really good. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just happy. <laughs> So, I'm Aaron Hadlow, 21, from the UK. I'm five times world champion, currently leading this year, this year, and I hope to make it number six. I'll put you down like a clock when the cops say freeze. I'll put your hands in the air and drop to your knees. You beg me not to blast a paragraph in the last eye. Murder the mask, cause I'm killing it when I'm feeling it. My adrenaline is like a drug. My lyric deliverance is like a slug. The penetrates your mug. Puddles of blood excites me and entices me. Alright, yeah, so I've been traveling around the world for years now and uh, been competing a lot. Uh, this year was a little bit different. We had only four events in the season, which uh, freed up a lot more time for me and uh, was able to give me more of a break. Had a lot of time doing lots of other trips with friends. I went around Europe in a van with one of my best mates. Done some trips with Ruben, went to the Triple S, done some things like that, and uh, just had a lot more time off. I went to Brazil for uh, two months before this, uh, the last event in Nucal, and was able to practice a lot there and really get down and focus for the last event. And for me, it's really good fun just traveling with friends and something I enjoy a lot more. There's a lot more less stress, just going, uh, going ride, push with your mates, and uh, really push a style of the sport that I really like to do. And, I want to see in the future. In the street, fuck up the game. How you live in the streets and don't know my name? It's Bobby Nuts, baby. Mr. Don't give a fuck, baby. Mr. Twin Glocks, all in your mouth. What's up, baby? Heard you want to be an MC and rhyme with the finest. Who resume is iller than mine is? I design niggas like a toy maker. Call me Geppetto. Spin around me, got fake niggas all over the ghetto. Better say 
you ill as shit now, ride my dick later. Niggas be still quoting my verse from hot potato. Blaze money in the bank, I killed on rough rough. Had niggas in the jailhouse screaming so tough. If that wasn't enough, just to shuffle through the list. If I had a hundred dollars for every nigga I rip, I stack C. Yeah, doing what I'm doing all the time gets pretty hectic, you know, as much as uh, a good life it is and how much you're always kiting on the water, it's a big dream for some people, but whenever you do anything enough, it sort of can get boring in some ways. So for me, I really like to split split that up and get away from it sometimes, but like totally away. Sometimes I go to like football games, watch football, play football with friends, and it's something totally different and still good, uh, good exercise. And for me to go jog down the beach and come back is really pointless for me, not something I enjoy doing or want to do, but I can run after a football all day long and really get a lot of enjoyment out of that. Who's the next to get killed? Cause I'm the best to get ill. MCs who ain't knowing they be testing my skills. Cause they don't know the consequences. Got MCs hopping fences. Every time I drop a sentence, everybody stop and listen. They waiting for what I spit. And MCs get dealt with. With the trial for assault with a deadly felt tip. I spit hot lyrics to melt shit. Too hard to give me props, but I know you felt it. Can't help it. You get me, shot when the feel. When I need to practice for the heats and to practice those tricks, I will go out and do it. But often when I free ride in, I'm enjoying a different sort of side of the sport. Um, especially in Cape Town, for instance, there's good kickers. I love just to launch off kickers. You know, it's different different points what what uh, what drive you, and uh, I can totally understand how Kevin how Kevin thinks and what he wants. Because when I was young, I would do whatever it took to take that world championship, and and that's what got me to where I am today. Um, I think as you as you go get older and go through the the stages, you sort of change your vision, change your ideas. You want to move on to something new, and I think that's just where I am in the sport at the minute. Yeah, who knows in the future, like, anything can happen and, you know, for sure I'm not quitting competition, you know, that's still a big drive, there's still something I really want to do. I'm in the right time, in the right place when I'm feeling right. I love the feeling of just pushing everything, busting the best heat and uh, just showing off all your new tricks and what you can do and that's the best thing that everyone is focusing on you at that time. So we're here for the semi-finals of the single elimination in New Caledonia. We've got the end of the girls at the minute with Bruna and Carolina. It's all really, really tight with the guys. Uh, Rondina knocked Aaron out in the quarterfinal. Uh, so for the semis, we've got Kevin against Yuri and we've got Rondina against Pastor. So it's really, really close for the top three guys because we've only had four events. It, this, this event is the deciding one. So Aaron's going to be fighting back in the double. So we'll see what happens. Man. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Like we were, we were all expecting Aaron, Yuri, and Kevin to be one, two, and three, but yeah, as it turned out, everyone was just like all over the place. Aaron got knocked out in the third round, and and uh, Yuri got knocked out by Kevin. So now, and then nobody expected that Alex Pastor would come through and win it. So you know, it's completely in suspense who's going to win the world championship. And yeah, we'll see what happens. But yeah, all the top three are, are all over the place. Okay, so we just finished the single elimination here in. New Caledonia is the first day of, com of competition. I won the single elimination against Kevin in the final. Really stoked. It's like my first competition I won in three years competing. Uh, I don't know, I'm really, really stoked and try to keep it the doubles. Uh, just the spot is awesome. I've been training really hard the last three months. And it paid off. Okay, so here we are in Numea, the harbor. And we're going to the reef. There is a pretty nice wave. We're going with some nice guys like Yuri, Angela, Carolina, me and 
and some judges and we're going to enjoy it. It's going to be pretty sick. No win and perfect swell. There's my wall right there. I don't know if it's uh, suitable. Let me pick it up so it's ready to go. Okay, let's go. It was a summer night and I was sleeping. The moon was out, my head was beaming. Looked at my dreams like they were gold. Amazing feelings draw within me. All my conflicts slip beneath me like the spirit of a song. Like the feeling of a lover in your arms But ever since that night and after Dreams I had, I can't recapture And it brings me down so low The more I search, the less I find The more I look, the more I'm blind like a melody so young uh, We're gonna start the day off with a long distance from the island of Paramede which is about 80 kilometers from here um, straight upwind it will take the guys about well the record is about 22 minutes the older guys are obviously keen to break that record once we finish the long distance we'll be uh, later today starting with the double elimination where we left it yesterday with a single We'll start today with a double elimination and finish off today with the world champion, hopefully. We went to the Faramed Island, which is around 20 kilometers from, uh, from here, from the main island. It's a wonderful island, like here is beautiful, but over there it's even more beautiful. The Blue Lagoon is, uh, is wonderful, you can see the reef. Uh, it's an amazing view from there. So it's a famous co uh, course that we did. It's a um, long distance between the Faramed and Numea. They are doing this since uh, many years. We couldn't beat the record this time because the wind was a little bit too light, around 15, 18 knots. But uh, we had a really nice, nice, uh, nice uh, course race. Around 25 competitors start from uh, Faramede. And the first guy is Torin Bright with 26 minutes, I think. He comes from New Zealand. He looks at the Nouvelle Zealand. Torin Bright! Yeah, so now we've finished the speed crossing, we're going to get into the doubles. Uh, interesting day yesterday, we had uh, all the singles for men and women got finished uh, with Alex Pastor uh, coming out on top in the singles. Um, so yeah, now we're going to get into the doubles and see what action is going to go down. for girls and 
tricks difficulty is wow. We're improving so much. We're doing all, we're all doing almost everything what guys are doing: back mobs, front mobs, slim chance, three on three. And this year we start doing switch tricks, which is the tricks we can do, but on the other side. So it's quite difficult, but we keep going. I'm not. I'm just keep trying. It's really difficult, but it's a lot of fun because then. We go to the spot and we are better than the guys. The girls, yeah, the girls. I was amazed about the girls. Hey, eh? they they trained really hard and they're ripping out there. It's it's crazy how the levels going up and up with those girls. Um, Bruna is just riding insane and um, yeah, Gisela as well. And I was pretty uh, surprised with uh, Carolina. Carolina was riding really well the last few years, but she couldn't really get it together in the competitions. But it seems like um, she found a good way to do it, well, do well in competitions, and she ended up second year. And Bruna took uh, took home the world title as well. So, yeah, she was really stoked. Yay! Yes, I'm world champion. Finally, it feels so good. Huh? I've worked so hard for it, and now that finally came, I'm. I don't even know what to do. I'm just happy walking around like this. I'm stoked. Huh? One of the exciting moments of the whole event was that in uh, probably in the semi-finals, I, in the doubles, I beat uh, Aaron. This meant that it was like the end of his, his world championship and um, I had to go up against Kevin. Uh, also this, this, this heat was really, whoever won that heat would be world champion. Unfortunately I lost and Kevin won it so he was world champion. <laughs> I just won the real title. I can't believe it, man. I gotta do one more heat against Alex, though. The wind is really dropping, but uh, hopefully I can uh, win this event as well and uh, take home the first place in this event and the real title. Oh, man, I'm so stoked. Can't be happier, man. Finally, my dream came through. Uh, through. It took some years, but uh, did it. Super stoked. The winner of this last final is Alex Pastor. On peut l'applaudir quand on fait applaudir. Big hands for Alex Pastor. So which one of you? See what I'm finna do is get into you. See what you all about and get rid of you. Sweet. So yeah, I mean, I'm five times world champion. It's something. It's an accomplishment that can't be taken away from me. So I'm super stoked with how how my career has gone so far and. Sometimes you have setbacks and this year was one for me, you know, there was only four events this year, some events had less points, this and that, and a certain few combinations didn't work in my favour and coming into the last event I really wanted to push it, I took, I took uh, two months out before the event to go full on, train and try and take home the six and this time it didn't work out for me and you get setbacks sometimes but I think that's probably a good thing because you need setbacks to, to get over them and then to push yourself even further so. Who knows, I could still be six times world champion, I'm still 21, I still have a long way to go. Finally he didn't win for one year, like, there are more riders out there who are pushing it and working hard. Uh, he definitely deserves it too, but yeah, finally a guy sto that guy stopped winning, like, finally, finally stopped winning for five years. Let's see, okay, this year was Kevin, hopefully another next year. Talking about my generation. <laughs> now the, yeah, there's a definitely a new generation coming through now. Uh, riders by the likes of Alex, Pasta, Reno, Mario, you know, Mark Jacobs as well. I think these are the riders of the future and uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, how they develop as riders and yeah, see maybe they're the future world champions, we'll see. I think the future of the sport is, I think we're pushing it the right way now. Um, I think uh, the right way is doing the, the big doubles and um, yeah, trying to uh, keep the kite as low as possible and try to travel or go as high as possible and travel as far as you can with, uh, with a lot of speed. And um, yeah, I think that's the future of the sport. I don't really see those little bunny hops going uh, really far because 
You know, you don't want to make it the same as wakeboarding because like wakeboarding and kiteboarding is a totally different sport. I think we, sh we could take a few things of wakeboarding and bring it into kiteboarding, but I don't think uh, everything that doing wakeboarding should we have to do in kiteboarding as well because mm -hmm. kiteboarding is just different, you know. We have a kite that is pulling hard and you can, you can uh, get your own speed. Yeah, it's just different, you know. I think we, uh, yeah, we have to create our own moves. That's the way to go. So the results for this year's overall ranking is Kevin Langre, Yuri Zoom, Aaron Hadlow, Alex Pastor and Andy Yates. For the women overall ranking, we have myself, Bruna Kajia, then we have Joanna Litwin, Carolina Winkowska, Angela Peral, and Johara Sykes-Davis. <laughs>